Good afternoon. This is Don. Uh, thanks for listening to this. Thanks to the over 2,000 people who have listened to this since we started this little experiment in June. Um, I'm not Tom Likas or Alex Jones or uh, any of those uh, more well-known people. And uh, as you listen to this, you'll probably know why I only have about 2,000 as opposed to several hundred thousand for others. But I just want to take just a few quick minutes to comment on a video that I posted three weeks ago on YouTube. It was about the guy who found six kids in his garage during the uh, Sandy Hook tragedy. They were hiding from what was going on. I guess they ran from school. Um, And he kept them there until things cooled down, I guess. Um, And I said that the guy was a hero. I still feel that way. And I said, and basically I said that, that, that there, were a, there were a very small number of conspiracy nuts who were out there. Who, uh, who were pushing these notions that the guy was an actor, the guy uh, was uh, a pedophile, the guy was, uh, was uh, being paid by the uh, Obama administration to uh, continue some sort of narrative that would eventually uh, wind up with, uh, him, uh, with him sending out jackboot thugs to uh, people's homes to take away their water pistols. I mean, this country just, just, I, I think, I think we have two gods in this country. One is the National Football League and the other is the um, Slippery Slope. Because people will take that Slippery Slope and they'll, they'll, they'll slide it all the way down to hell just to prove their, their point. Well, it was a 30-second video. I, can, I, I can't afford to do anything else on Animoto. I put it up there. Uh, it was reasonably good, and I just let it go. 30 seconds later, I get, I, I get, I get some sort of uh, comment. Another 30 seconds, another comment. More comments and more comments. Uh, <coughs> Um, when I stopped things um, a couple of Sundays ago, there were probably about 115 comments on a video I made. Now, usually I'd be very happy because usually I would probably get about five views on anything I've ever done anyway. There were about 113 hits on, on this particular video. For which, by the way, I am grateful. But the comments were, shall we say, disheartening and disturbing. There were people who, who, as I said, uh, claimed that uh, this man was a paid operative of the Clinton administration or of uh, some sort of... uh, a peacenik organization. I would like to see that canceled check. They said that he was a member of this crisis actors group that was uh, created to uh, to uh, fool the American public. Let me tell you a little something about the crisis actors. Uh, they actually do have a website, crisisactors.org, and what they do is they do go into schools and they do go into uh, uh, civic, or, civic organizations because we've had things like uh, sniper attacks and terrorist attacks and things like that. 
and basically it's to say this is how you would act and act in something like this and we would just pretty much play our role so you can get an idea of what you would have to what you could expect if something like this would happen <clears throat> excuse me um it's not just things like Sandy Hook. I mean, you you're, you can go all the way back to the uh, <clears throat> the uh, sniper shootings in San Francisco that killed Mayor Moscone and Harvey Milk to uh, to uh, point out that these things could happen at any time, anywhere, for any reason. It's kind of like it's kind of like a very intense disaster drill. And there are people who saw this and they, they put two plus two together and they came out with Obama hires these guys to come on television. I've had comments like that. I've had comments that uh, this person was nothing more than a fool. That this person was probably uh, doing something gnarly with the kids. as if their own comments were some sort of evidence. So there were people who did come on and say that, you know, the guy was a person who served in the military, served in war, was a, was a uh, award-winning uh, person, uh, was, a, was up until that day, uh, was a, a, a law-abiding citizen of Newtown. That doesn't matter to anybody because, well, I heard on Alex Jones this, or I heard on this uh, shortwave program I get with the fillings of my teeth that. So it came down to one person was a pedophile and the other person was something else I can't even think of or even want to want to want to mention. I mean, I let a lot of stuff go. But after it got to that point, it started, and I just said, I, I, I had enough, and I caught it. And uh, I am not going to be opening a, that flood gate up again. To those people who actually had uh, intelligence comments one way or the other, I apologize. I, 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 I do believe in free speech. I, my entire being is that. But it had gotten to a point where it just went, it just got out of hand and I just had to stop it, at least for the time being. Everyone had their say anyway, and I just let it, let it go. And for this, uh, there will be a monitored um, and approved messages going forward on things like this. Again, I have no problem with intelligent discussion. And I would even go so far as to say there may be questions that you would need to ask about what happened there. But it went too far. And it makes you wonder what a lot of people have <laughs> what, what a lot of people do with the time they have on their on, on their hands. The video's staying up. And I haven't changed my mind. And that's pretty much it. Again, to the people who uh, who did view the video, thank you. I have more there coming. Uh, to the people who have uh, given uh, intelligent comments, again, right or left, thank you very much for that. I'm sorry you had to suffer for the stupid people that are out there. But it seems so sad what has happened to us. But it seems that almost everything is part of some big conspiracy. Would it be, would it be, you know, (sighs) 
is it is it just possible that if something happens, it just actually happened the way it happened, and that we don't have to go through some sort of X Files twenty four uh, intrigue to find out what the truth is, because the truth is right there. Anyway, I just need to say that, and um, and for those people who do uh, feel that what I'm doing is worth something, you can go to our website. It is uh, uh, tinyurl.com slash Radio Don. We do have a support us page. You can support us in many ways. If you can't do it financially, just let people know what we're doing here. Uh, the uh, YouTube channel is Poly by Five. The uh, the website I've already given to you. It also has uh, most of uh, my uh, social media information there. We can have a good discussion. We can yell. We can scream. Just don't be stupid. That's all I'm asking. Just don't be stupid. Don't get personal. And uh, and then we'll be fine. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs>